Good morning. It's been a while since the last video, so we apologise for that. And um, we're just getting ourselves ready to head off to Sandringham. Just giving these two a quick walk, and then we'll be uh, on our way. Come up, up, come up. Smudge. So we're heading over the Humber Bridge. If you didn't know, um, if you don't have a tag, you can still use the tag lane. You just have to make sure that you log on to their website the next day and make sure you pay the toll. Just saves queuing at the toll booths, that's all, makes it a little bit quicker because sometimes the queues can be quite long. Here we are just arriving at the Sandringham Estate Club site. As you can see, there's absolutely no issues at all with access. It's perfectly fine for a tag axle and we're even towing the car, so it's absolutely spot on. always with a caravan and motor home club when you arrive on site you get given a map of the site and um, showing all the facilities you also get some information booklets showing what's around the area and where the nearest things are such as like the supermarkets doctors vets that kind of thing so all useful information chosen this pitch because it's near the entrance and we quite like to neb when people come in and out just check out their outfits you know so we've got quite a good viewing spot from here which would be nice and we're in the sunshine for once we bought these seat covers from sheen i think it was um, we're not keen on the colors to be fair we don't like them but they've got a herringbone back so they don't move on the leather but we want something that's got an elasticator back as well as the herringbone back um, just to protect the leather from the dogs really so if anyone knows where we can get some that have got both that would be really appreciated if you can let us know in the comments obviously we want a different colour we don't like these they're a necessity till we get something better as you can see they're not great they don't look pretty but they'll protect the leather with any luck the twins have decided that it's playtime now we're set up so I think we're just going to chill have a bit of a lazy night take these for a walk to Hunt Stanton and we'll pick you up in the morning. Good morning. What a beautiful morning. So I would just nip out and give these two a quick walk. I think it's only about 10 past six, but it's absolutely lovely this morning. So we're gonna have a drive around the site and just show you around. Um, so this club site is based in the grounds of the Sandringham estate. There's lots of walks through the woods. Um, you can walk up to the house itself. It's a roughly a 45 minute walk each way through the woodland. We didn't do it, but we were told it was absolutely beautiful. And round the site is another woodland walk. You, the caravan and camping club site is also next door, which you can access through the woods and get into their site. Likewise, they can get onto this site. Um, on arrival, we met with some really friendly staff, as always with any of the club sites, they get you booked in. You go find your pitch first and then you come back and uh, let them know where you are and sort everything out like that. One of the things that probably needs upgrading is the toilet blocks. 
Um, they are a little bit on the dated side now. I mean, they're lovely and clean, don't get me wrong. Um, but they could probably do with a bit of a refresh. Um, it would be nice if they also updated the motorhome service area. It's still the two grates in the ground where you have to just sort of drive across and line it up and then pick the grate up to empty your, your fresh and your grey water when you're done rather than having the big grate across. Um, just makes it a little bit easier, that's all. So it'd be nice to see that, but I'm sure at some point they'll be on with it. The only sort of downside was the internet signal. It is very poor. Um, even the free Wi-Fi, we were struggling. The premium Wi-Fi, we, we both paid for that and we couldn't get that to the pitch either. Bear in mind, we were at the pitch at the start of the site. So literally, as you come through the barrier, we were the per first pitch on the right-hand side. So next to the um, reception area, so you'd think we'd have fairly good signal. It was Easter holiday, so I'm pretty sure that'll play a massive part in it. A lot of people will have been using it, but still, I think if they're advertising premium wi-fi you should be able to get it anyway um it'd also be nice to see a dog wash or a bike wash on the site there isn't one so just bear that in mind if you're coming with mucky dogs on going into the woods and things like that um there's there's nowhere to get washed uh, but other than that it's a really nice site it's quite a big site it's set on a couple of different levels pretty much all hard standing there are a couple of grass pitches but not many um but as you can see it's your typical club site that's the, the bonus to the club sites. You kind of know what you're going to get, the layout and things like that. Um, if you wanted to go further afield, then you definitely need a car. There's nothing in the immediate vicinity of the site. As you saw on the way in, it's a main road and you turned off into the woodland. So there's no shops nearby. There is a small shop in the uh, reception area as normal, but it's only your basic stuff. So a car is definitely preferable, but beautiful site. Um, we'll be back. It's ideal for the coast, only 10 minutes from Hunstanton. Um, we really like it there. So yeah, overall, we were happy with it. As it's such a beautiful day, we decided to head across to the coast. Um, this is Hunstanton. As you see, it's absolutely glorious day. Sea is so calm. So we're just going to walk down into the town, have a bit of a mooch around, and then we'll head down the coast and probably stop at Wells next to the sea, then down to Sheringham and then down to Cromer. Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for sunset 
Another beautiful morning. It's allowing the twins to have their breakfast outside. Sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. I think it's time for me to go. Burn all bridges. All I know. I got lost along the way. As you can see, the lovely sunny morning didn't last long at all. We've now picked up the white cloud and it's quite a bit cooler than it was yesterday. We've headed down to Roxham, which is a village which is situated within the Norfolk Broads um, on the River Bure, apparently often referred to as the capital of the Broads. So let's go and have a look. There is a boat trip which I think lasts around about an hour and a half. It was £15 each, which we thought was a little bit on the expensive side. Um, and particularly as the weather was so rubbish, we decided not to do it. Maybe if it had been sunny, it probably would have been slightly better. After Roxham, we headed back towards the coast and came back up the coast road. We didn't film showing them yesterday, um, so thankfully we filmed it today. It was miserable, to be fair, very wet. But nevertheless, it was still nice and busy and we got out and had a little leg stretch and a walk round. It's absolutely beautiful. It's definitely worth a visit if you're over that way. Sorry we didn't film much more around the little towns. It was Easter weekend, so it was really busy. So it's not really ideal for filming. Clearly, the last few days away has absolutely exhausted these two, which is great to be fair. Um, we hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully it won't be too long until the next one. Thanks for watching.